All right, guys, on to our next project. This little table that I must have purchased 10 months ago. It's been sitting out in the building. And I have a plan for it. Like, I am so excited about the plan for this. And I would... I, sorry for the Doberman. I just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I'm going to do a bunch of taping off. And, oh, super excited about this one. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Here we go. This is my first coat. I didn't get inside because I started painting the outside. And I was like, I'm going to get all wet. So I'll paint the inside later today. And then I took the drawer out and I wanted to paint the top of the drawer black. I'm going to paint the inside white. And then I have some other big plans. Ha 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 ha. Wait till you see. So I painted the top of this little, I'm going to call it a nightstand. painted the inside of it black. It's got a drawer that goes in here and I'm going to be doing a lot to that drawer but the next step I want to do because I'm super excited and I can't wait any longer is I'm going to use this product and I saw a video on this product and I immediately ordered it um, it allows you to adhere any kind of paper, any kind of fabric to your project without wrinkles. So I'm going to try this on the top of this. And the sides, each side, the front of the drawer and the inside of the drawer. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. This is going to look so farmhouse. All right. That's what I'm doing next. Um, I have to apply two coats of these and a coat has to dry in between before we can adhere the paper. So on with the show. I got a little excited last night. And I went ahead and did the top and the drawer. But I did save the sides. So we're going to do the sides together. Um, I have my, my pieces cut to fit. And um, so we're going to do those totally together. But I did want to, like, practice. So I had this little incident last night where I went to wipe it after I got it adhered on just to kind of clean it off and I kind of distressed it <laughs> and I was like oh my god I messed it up because I really wanted it to be crisp I didn't want it to be distressed so honey was like we'll just mess up the rest of it so I took a little light sanding 220 sanding block and I just kind of went over it and distressed all of it. This actually, this line right here is because there was a funky thing on the wood and unfortunately that came through. But I think this table is really cool and I think somebody's gonna love it. I almost like leaving it white, but my lines are not very crisp. As you can see, so I am going to go ahead and put the, the paper on it. And I kind of like it distressed. I really kind of do. And was glad that Honey suggested that. So um, next clip, we're going to work on the sides. I actually came out here and turned the heater on earlier and it blew the breaker. So I had to like rearrange a little bit. So um, we'll be back this afternoon after work to work on this. And hopefully get it finished up so it can go to the booth tomorrow. That would be awesome if I could get this all finished up and ready to go. All right.
here's the side of our piece and here's the product you can pause it and check it out if you want what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of squeeze it on there and then I'm just using a a foam brush that I got at um, Home Depot to smooth this out. They tell you in the in the instructions instruction video that I followed that it's really important to get it evenly. Coated. So I'm going to do this coat and then I'm going to go in the house and get some stuff done and then it should dry in about 30 minutes. Come back out and do my second coat. You want to be sure to get it all the way up in the edges there because we want our paper to stick everywhere. All right, so I'm going to do the other side and I don't think it's necessary for me to show you the second coat, but when I get ready to put the paper on, that's when I'll be back. I got my paper cut to go in here, and I have my parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper. Be sure you got it right. I have my iron set on medium heat, and... Here we go. Now, obviously, since I did the, the other parts yesterday, I know that this works really well. The only bad thing is, is that um, it's hard to get these corners. And I'm hoping to get this piece finished up so I can take it to the antique mall tomorrow. I'm just going to probably wax where it's painted, but I got a clear coat the where I um, where I'm putting the paper on. I've got to put a clear coat over that. So I'm really gonna to have to hustle. And I'm going to have to order more of this product because it took half of this container to do this one table. Now, you know, I did do the top of the table, the drawer front, two sides of the table. You know, I think most people just do like the drawer front. They don't do as much as I'm doing. See, yeah, that's all adhered on there, and it's hot. Ta-da! All right. 
Let's do. I really gotta clean my floors. I get paint on my floors all the time and I don't clean it up. Okay. This is gonna be so cute. And as much as I tried for this to be perfect, it's not, it's not um a hundred percent perfect. But that's just the way it goes. I don't think whoever ends up falling in love with this is going to mind too much that there is a millimeter gap. All right. product so much and I have seen that there are other companies that make a product similar to this I just had not seen it at the time I got super excited and ordered it from Canada so I'm just telling you guys what I ordered so you because you will want to know what it is but I'm going to do some research and see if I can find something I can purchase from the U.S. and not have to go outside the country to get it. I just think this is so adorable and I've had this piece for so long and I literally like a couple of weeks ago was like oh I should just donate that back I'm never gonna do anything with that little yellow table did last night was I just took this 220 sanding block and kind of went over it to give it that distress look. Just a little bit. 
So I think you've seen enough and I'll be back with the finished product. Okay guys, I did a clear coat on this with Sweet Pickens Top Coat and I am totally loving this. Ran out of time for this video. I had to get this project done, so I hope you love it like I do. First time doing this, there's definitely a learning curve and I will be doing more. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.